And this one looks like another fantastic game that has some really interesting mechanisms going for it because this one is actually a semi-asymmetrical game where one player is going to be playing as France and the other player is playing as the United States and these players are competing in a battle of fashion. The way the game works is that you're going to be setting up this runway of tiles with each tile representing a different action that can be performed when the runway model makes it to that tile. Most of these actions are going to allow you to play a card because each player will have their own action deck that they're going to be drawing from at the start of the round and then playing those different cards to perform various actions. Something that's really interesting about these different runway tiles is that they do also have all sorts of different icons on them. These icons can benefit one player more than the other and players will be able to modify this runway as the game goes on in order to try and put runway tiles there that benefit them more. Something to note about the action cards is that they're not super easy or free to get into your hand and you can only really draw them when the model is on the tile that allows you to draw cards. But other than that, these action cards are mostly multi-use, and you can discard these in order to draw additional cards from your deck. There's a few different action cards available in this game, with one of the main ones being the dress cards. Whenever you play a dress card, you can only play it to the location where the runway model is currently located, and also these dress cards are going to come with all sorts of different icons on them that you're going to be trying to combine in different ways because at some point you're going to be playing a designer card and the designer card is going to grant you different bonuses or additional bonus actions if you're able to create the combinations of icons that that designer requires. A neat thing about the dress cards is that you can actually play multiple dresses in a single location and whenever you do that you're always going to be keeping the topmost icon of the previous card revealed, allowing you to get more icons out in a single location. Players can also use their fashion to attract celebrity cards that they can then play to the Palace of Versailles. And the way that this works is that one side is going to be for the France player and one side is going to be for the America player and you always start playing your celebrities from your side of the board. Whenever you play a celebrity you'll get to perform their special action but then you can also play the location action as well if there wasn't already a card in that location. If your cards are bumping up against your opponents and you go to play another celebrity card you're going to be removing their card from the palace and then putting yours in its place and you still do get to perform that celebrity's action but you just don't get the location action. There's also other cards like event cards that players can play for different effects or abilities that they can use to modify the play area but at the end of the round there's going to be a few different actions that allow you to play any of your remaining cards face down into a pile in front of you and you'll be able to reveal those to add up their income value and depending on how you played relative to your opponent that's going to allow you to gain some tiles from the palace of versailles the cards you did play do get discarded permanently so you are sacrificing cards in order to do this but whenever you gain one of these tiles it's going to be allowing you to perform its special action immediately you can only choose from the tiles that are currently revealed but once you take that tile all the tiles adjacent to it will be flipped up so that they are then revealed and then optional choices as well. Players will then be adding up all their victory points and then taking the difference to determine which direction this token moves. The game can end in a few different ways. Either this token moves all the way to the US or the France side and then in that case that player would win. Or if a player is able to get all of their celebrities in the bottom of the palace, then they automatically win. But then there's also a specific win condition for each player that only they can pursue. And for France, that's to accumulate 15 flags. And you'll be able to collect these on the different cards and tiles scattered throughout the game. But then the specific win condition for the America player is that they can try and get six different dress qualities in a single column. But if none of these conditions are met before the end of the game, then it's the player with the most victory points that wins. And I think this game looks like a lot of fun. I think it's got a lot of neat mechanisms incorporated with it, and I really do like all the multiple ways to win. And if you are interested in this one, you can check it out. I will have it linked in the description below.